Hi, everybody. I'm Pierre Bouvard, Chief Insights Officer here at Cumulus Media and Westwood One. And what is the very latest on the state of Americans commuting to their workplace? In our conversations with advertisers and agencies, sometimes we hear folks tell us that, hey, at my agency or my brand, we're still working from home. So, you know, average Americans, they're probably still working from home. So audiences to out of home media, billboards and radio are probably down. So we wanted to get a read on what's actually happening uh, with commuting among advertisers and agencies, as well as average Americans. So to do that, we turn to advertiser perceptions, the gold standard of what marketers and media agencies think, and Maru Blue, one of the leading firms that surveys uh, everyday Americans. So in October, Advertiser Perceptions fielded a study on commuting among 303 marketers and agencies. And we commissioned that study and compared it to an identical study that we had conducted with Advertiser Perceptions in April. So we're able to see what's changed with commuting patterns among advertisers and agencies between April and October of this year. Then to get a read on everyday Americans, uh, Maru Blue commissioned a study of uh, 1,516 average Americans. And that study was uh, conducted on November 9th. So to what degree are agencies, marketers, and average Americans as we speak, commuting to work. So let's first focus our attention on brands and media agencies. So the proportion that say in the advertising business, I'm commuting to work all or most days, that has gone up pretty dramatically, 22% to 33%. The proportion that say I'm commuting to work some days has remained pretty similar at around 43%. And those that say they're only working from home has dropped uh, 37% to 23%. So if you add the commute someday people to the um, commuting most days, you find that 76% of American marketers and agencies are commuting to the office, and that is up from 63% this past spring. So let's turn our attention now to the average Americans. Well, over the last two years, Nielsen has conducted national studies on commuting, and they focused on folks that used to commute before the pandemic. And to the left of your screen, you can see when COVID-19 struck in April of 2020, half of the formerly commuting American workforce was working from home. But that quickly recovered. And by October of 2020, 76% of the American workforce had resumed commuting to their place of work. By last year, September 2021, 82% of the American workforce was commuting. And as of this November, courtesy of the recently conducted Maru Blue study, 87% of American workers were commuting uh, outside of the home. So despite the fact that a big chunk of marketers and media agencies are commuting to work, and that has grown, there are still more average Americans commuting than people in the advertising business. Now, let's take a look at the number of days agencies, marketers, and average Americans are working at their place of business. Here, we're looking at marketers and agencies in gray. We are looking at April of 22. In blue, uh, we've got October of 22, and we're looking at the number of days that folks are commuting. Look at the one or two day people among marketers and agencies. That is down. Uh, fewer saying they're only working one or two days in the office. What has grown is the four and the five day a week folks among advertisers and agencies. So overall, the number of uh, days in office among marketers and agencies in America has gone from three days in April to three and a half days a week this October. Now, where has this growth come from? So here, we're looking at marketers and agencies by the size of their organization. So back in April, the small brands and the small media agencies, less than 50, they, have, they were clocking uh, a bunch of days in the office. And as you got to the bigger and bigger and bigger 
organizations, you saw a big drop off in the number of days uh, commuting. But this October, the biggest growth in getting back to the office is occurring among the very biggest media agencies and brands, those over a thousand employees. We can see a big increase uh, in a thousand to five thousand people and a pretty good increase among the folks that work in organizations over five thousand people. However, those really big five thousand people organizations um, are not even yet at three days per week. So still some uh, days per week to come from those super big uh, media agencies and brands. So let's compare number of days per week in blue, average Americans, in gray, uh, the most recent read from marketers and agencies, number of days per week. Decisively, you can see the average American for the most part, the majority are working five days a week at their place of work. While the media agencies are kind of spread out, uh, marketers two, three, four, five days a week. So uh, the average days commuting for the average American, 4.3 days. The marketer and media agency, only 3.5 days. So the average American is going to see your out of home media advertising, your billboard advertising, and you hear your radio advertising more than you are as a marketer and the agency because you're still not up to the number of days at work than the average American. You can see 3.5 versus 4.3. So more Americans are commuting to the office than marketers and agencies, and actual number of days per week at work greater among average Americans versus marketers and media agencies. Now, let's focus on those that are still working from home. There's a lot fewer of them, especially in the marketer agency world than there used to be. But when do these folks anticipate returning to their workplace. Well, we're comparing for agencies and advertisers, April to October, April in gray, October in blue. Um, there were a lot more marketers and agencies last spring who were working from home. That's gone down like 37% to 23%. Those marketers and agencies that remain are pretty dug in. About half of them say they're not returning to the office, but 37% saying they don't know. Now, if we compare the average Americans who are still working from home here in blue, when they think they'll be coming back to their workplace, you can see if you add up the one month, three month, six month people, almost half of average Americans who are still working from home expect to be back at their place of work in the next six months. So a far greater proportion expect to be back in their place of work versus marketers and media agencies. So the question now for marketers and agencies is, hey, are you taking in-person meetings with vendors? Are you attending in-person uh, industry conferences and events? So when we look at marketers and agencies and in-person media vendor meetings, big increase uh, from April, 41% uh, to 62%. So a big increase there and about 20% who have not yet resumed in-person media vendor meetings expect to do so in the next three months. When it comes to industry events and conferences, uh, if you were in Orlando at the Association of National Advertisers Masters of Marketing with 2000 of your best friends, you would definitely feel that in-person events are back and back in a big way. Uh, the number of marketers who say they've already resumed going to industry events has doubled, 33% in April to 58% um, in this October. And then there's another 24% that expect to be resuming in-person conferences and events within the next uh, three months or so. So this notion that boy, my out-of-home ads, my billboard ads, my radio ads aren't really going to be heard or seen that much or as much as previous because so many people are working from home. It's simply not the case. And this is, again, one of these situations when we realize that we in the media and advertising business are very different from average Americans. You can't take your personal media habits and kind of project them onto America. So we have to in the advertising business, we have to take the me out of media, meaning we can't project our personal habits, 
media habits onto average Americans. In their best-selling book, uh, probably one of the best books you'll ever want to read on marketing strategy, How Not to Plan, 66 Ways to Screw It Up by Les Bennett and Sarah Carter, they remind us in the agency and brand world that we are very different from the majority. Uh, we tend to be younger. We're less than 1% of the population. We live in a handful of big cities, so it's all too easy for us to overlook how different our lifestyles and perceptions are from the people that we talk to. So recapping key findings, marketers and agencies have absolutely increased commuting and day in the office, but they still lag behind average Americans and therefore average Americans are much more frequently exposed to billboards out of home and AM FM ads than folks in the advertising business. The proportion of marketers and agencies now commuting is up from 63% in spring to 76% in October. And 87% of average Americans are working outside the home. When you break down marketers uh, and agencies, about a third are commuting most days, 43% are there some days. Of those that are still working from home, that 23%, half of them say they don't plan to come back to the office anytime soon. While the small number of average Americans who are still working from home, most of them half expect to be back at their place of work within the year. And when it comes to in-person media vendor meetings among marketers and agencies and industry events, six out of 10 are already resuming these in-person meetings and about another 20 or 25% expect these meetings to resume within the next three months. The Audio Active Group here at Cumulus Media in Westwood One is a full service advisory for national brands. We offer media planning recommendations, creative best practices, and measurement services of the entire audio investment. Each week, we publish a new audio case study or insight that can be found on our website at cumulusmedia.com or westwood1.com. Just click on the link for blog. Or when you're there, you can sign up to get the weekly audio insight sent directly to your email box at, uh, for no charge. Thanks so much for the opportunity to update you on the very latest with commuting habits among marketers and agencies and average Americans. Thanks so much.